In the last video, we were analyzing this circuit where we have one, two, three current sources and an array of resistors here. And we had determined the value of V1. That was one volt. Now we want to determine the value of the potential, the voltage at that node, V2, and the voltage at this node, V3. So we're going to continue along. The expression for V2 is this. Here was our three node equations and we replace the V2 column with this column now. And this column, the V1 column and the V3 column, they stay the same. So Let's quickly determine what V2 is. So here we have 4 times this 2 by 2 determinant. Again, cover up the row and cover up the column. And we have 517, negative 2, 7. Then it's minus the next number up here, which is 2, times this 2 by 2 determinant. Cover up the row and cover up the column. And it's negative 1. 0, negative 2, 7. And then we have 0. So V2, let's see, this is 35 minus negative 34. That's 35 plus 34. So that has a value of 69. And here we have negative 7 minus 0. So that has a value of negative 7. So V2 will equal 4 times 69. And then negative 7 times negative 2 is plus 14 divided by 145. And this, 4 times 69, that's 276 plus 14 over 145, and that's 290. Right, divided by 145. So V2 equals plus 2 volts. So here we have a voltage of 1 volt and here it is 2 volts. Now let's determine V3, the third voltage at the third node. Now V3, the denominator always stays the same, of course. For V3, we go back to our three equations. This column gets replaced with this column, the V3 column. So here we have 2517. And of course, here's the V1 column, and the V2 column stays the same. So it's negative 1, 6, negative 2. So this will equal, and again, we're taking some time to go through these determinants here. It's a little bit tedious, 
but when you're going to solve these types of problems, this is what you can expect to put up with. So here we have 4, and the 2 by 2 determinant, cover up the row again, cover up the column, and it's 6, negative 2, 5, 17. minus, it has a minus sign by it already, so this would be plus 1 times this 2 by 2 determinant, cover up the row, cover up the column, negative 1, 0, 5, 17. And then plus 2, times this subdeterminant, covering up the row and the column, negative 1, 0, 6, negative 2. Okay, so here we have 17 times 6 plus 10, and let's see, 17 times 6, 42, 6 times 1 is 6 and 4 is 102, and then we add 10 to that, we have 112, so that has that matrix, or that 2 by 2 determinant, it's not a matrix, it's a determinant, that has numerical value of 112. Now here we have minus 1 times this. We have 17 times negative 1 minus 5 times 0. So this has a value of minus 17. And actually, no, this is plus 1. This is a minus 1 here. So this is just simply, and again, when you're monkeying around these um, determinants, it's easy to make a silly mistake along the way, so be forever vigilant. Okay, and here we have, this is negative 2 times negative 1, that's positive 2 minus 0, so that has a value of plus 2. So finally, we have V3 equals... 4 times 112 minus 17, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 divided by 145. Bring this into better focus. 4 times 112 minus 17 that's what this is, 17 times minus 1. And that's not a minus 1 there, that's a plus 1. And negative 1 times negative 2 is plus 2 times 2 is plus 4. So this is minus 13. So we have 8, 448 minus 13. That's 435. 435 divided by 145. That's plus 3 volts. So here now we can go back to our original circuit. and fill in the blanks. Okay, V1 is 1 volt, V2 is 2 volts, V3 is plus 3 volts. So, 
for this resistor, the current going through it will be in a downward direction, and it will be 3 divided by 1 fourth, or that will be 12 amps in this direction. Because this is a positive voltage, and this is at ground at zero potential here. This is at plus 3 volts. Here, it's going to be plus 3 divided by 1. That will be 3 amps of current flowing through this resistor. Now, for this resistor between nodes V3 and V2, this has a potential of 3 volts. That's 2 volts. So it's going to be 3, the higher one minus the lower one. So it's 1 volt divided by 1 half. So we're going to have 2 amps of current going in this direction across that resistor. Now here, this is at 2 volts. So for this resistor, it's going to have 6 amps of current going in this direction. And for this resistor, that's at 2 volts. That is at 1 volt. So we're going to have 1 amp of current going in that direction. And then finally, for this resistor, this is at 1 volt. So we're going to have 3 amps of current going down in that direction. And then that finishes off the circuit. So another demonstration of the format approach for nodal analysis. And like we said before, the only proviso is it works when you have only current sources provided in your circuit. Now, if you do have a voltage source, um, using the conversion techniques that we discussed in the previous videos, it might be possible to convert that voltage source numerically into a current source and then set it up, set the problem up, and use the format approach to node analysis. And we'll try and have a demonstration of that in the next video. So come and join us for that video, and let's see if we can solve another problem.